Welcome to Bro Joe Builds. Right here we have a vortex cylinder head that I'm gonna start porting. Uh, you might see a little bit of chalk from the dive to inspect for cracks. I didn't have any cracks in this head. Um, there's another cylinder head that I had uh, laying around that already had the, the throats cut for a larger valve. So I'll be using this head on the golden engine I had sitting in the background in the previous video. Um, so to, I'm going to be doing a light port job. And right now I'm just going to Again, this is not going to be a step-by-step step step tutorial on how to port a head. This is going to be more or less addressing the small problem areas where you could squeak out some extra flow and make uh, a little bit more power. Now, um, right now I have focused on the cylinder head. A, you can see right down the throat of the, of the intake port right now and I want to try using a pointer and my pointer is going to be a exhaust valve stem and I want you to see right here right along here on the throat this is where I'm going to start opening it up and as I open it up here we're going to see that it's going to actually open up the area right behind the valve which is actually going to help increase flow. Now the first thing that people want to do is just make a big port and the Vortec port is actually a really well designed port. It's more You just want to enhance what's already there and make it better flowing. If you see if I'm here, if you see if I'm there, makes a big improvement overall. So I'm going to start cutting this head now and um, We'll see later on we move on to another section on the head. Even from this angle right here you can see the restriction that's there in the port. And I'll start cutting now and we'll see what we get. It's gonna be kind of hard to tell, unfortunately. With the only I have one camera and catching all the angles and doing this working around the camera is a little difficult. But I pretty much blended the seat here. Again, this took me only I would say 10 minutes to blend the seat, and it again by camera is gonna be hard to see. But the transition from the port into the valve seat is much smoother, especially 
right here off the floor. Now this area is gonna be actually the more important area to work on, but on, on this head, um, it's really good right out of the box. So I wouldn't really touch it uh, too much. I will narrow the guide a little bit and I'll see if I add in some photo, photos of me after I, I, I done this here. Again, it's kind of hard to uh, work around the camera. Um, I'm kind of working off to the side so you guys can see. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, I'm gonna narrow the guide down a little bit. Again, when you're narrowing the guide, you gotta go with the direction of the flow. Uh, this side of the port is where majority of your airflow is gonna come around and swirl towards the valve. So again, air is coming through this side of the head, right? And then come around, come through the side of this port and swirl around as it comes out from under the valve. So, and going towards the spark plug. So, um, you want, again, this is a Vortec head. So, um, you want to continue with that, that, uh, that pattern of flow. Again, you don't want to do anything to work against this head. It is very easy for someone to just start cutting heads any which way they want and turn uh, a good head into a big pile of scrap metal. So you want to take your time and be easy. I'm going to finish this valve guide area and I want to, again insert some pictures for you guys to see and um, that should be it for this one, this stage of the head porting and then we'll work on the actual ports itself, intake and exhaust and again we put make a small clip of each and not doing the whole head again there's not a step by step but just addressing the small problem areas that you should touch and, and work on that's all be safe god bless take care